more exciting than breakfast and a lot more enjoyable to cook, brunch is ideal for sharing. First up, my simple and delicious frittata. Eggs are great. They are so versatile. And once you've mastered how to cook them, trust me, the door then opens to a wide range of delicious options. This is like a triple omelette, but a lot more ingredients than a normal omelette. We'll start off with some lovely smoked bacon. Slice the bacon. Bacon in. No salt. A little touch of pepper. Start off on a high heat. Get that bacon really nice and crispy. Otherwise, you just boil the bacon and it's got that soft, unpleasant texture in the potato. Turn down the gas and now start adding your veg. Roughly chop a red pepper and add it to the pan. The peppers and the bacon take the longest, so they've always got to go in first. Now, soak them off. And the peppers have been cooked now from that sort of rendered fat in the bacon. And then the spring onions. Just bunch them up and slice them. I want them on an angle so they come like little green diamonds. Spring onions in. Now, for the eggs. Cracking the eggs. For that size pan, seven or eight eggs. I want to fill it right to the very top. And more importantly, when I turn this out, I want it like a gatto, nice and thick, so we can slice through and see all those wonderful veg. Mm. I'm going to season the eggs with some parmesan cheese. Be quite generous, because it adds a really nice saltiness. Fresh ground pepper, and then whisk. Whisk up those eggs nicely. Then add peas to the pan. And to give the dish a wonderful aromatic freshness, some fragrant chopped basil. I want to chop that sort of roughly, because I want to see those flecks of green going in. I want it looking charming. And how many times have you seen a, a dull omelette? Frittatas, in my mind, really help encapsulate the magic of having savoury eggs cooked beautifully, but with texture. Now, just before we had the eggs, I've got this beautiful little goat's cheese, and it's strong and powerful. So I want to slice it into little chunks, and then just have it dotted around. I want to discover these little pockets of creamy goat's cheese. Now, slowly add the eggs. Fill that right up. And get your spoon. Now, just let all that egg go down to the bottom. Bring it back up to the boil and sort of clean around the sides. And then some of this delicious, salty, creamy goat's cheese over the top. Now, I want it melting like a, a perfect slice of cheese on toast. Nice. Now, from there, turn the grill on for four to five minutes. Mm. Now, just looking at that, delicious. Take a little paring knife and just make sure it's released from the sides. Just take your pan and tap. That will hopefully release the frittata from the bottom of the pan. Now, put the board over the pan. Turn that gently and just shake. Say a little prayer and lift off. Now, from there, on. There, it's there, look. Now, slice through. Mm. You can see how soft and creamy that is in the centre. And that goat's cheese is just melting, almost like a little sauce inside. So exciting, but more importantly, so easy to do. It's got texture, it's got creaminess, and that, for me, will beat any omelette for brunch. 
served with a stack of hot buttered toast and a steaming pot of coffee, this easy frittata turns the humble egg into the perfect dish for kicking off the weekend. Soft, fiery and irresistible. Spicy pancakes. One of the secrets to good cooking is learning to use your imagination. When it comes to brunches, you don't have to stick to the old standbys. These delicious, spicy pancakes are a really great alternative, but more importantly, so easy to do. Start off by toasting your cumin. It's a dry roast, basically. Non-stick pan, just a touch of seasoning. The salt helps to dry out the cumin even more. And then fresh ginger. Slice them nice and thinly. Stack it back up and then just slice. Nice little thin slices in there. And then keep that bunched up. Shake the chilli. Removing the seeds will prevent things getting too hot. Now, garlic. Nice. Now, add olive oil to your toasted cumin seeds and in with the garlic, ginger and chilli. Lovely. And it feels strange when you talk about garlic for breakfast, but the time I spent in India, everybody was eating something savoury for breakfast. It was extraordinary. Into your bowl. And set aside. Next, the pancake filling. Add olive oil to a hot pan. Mustard seeds in. Now they'll start dancing the minute they hit the pan. Mmm. Then finely slice an onion. Onions in. A little teaspoon of turmeric. Sprinkle that in. And look at the colour. An instant change. Leftover potatoes. Just slice them. The smell is incredible. Potatoes in now. Spread the potatoes across the pan. I want the potatoes stained. I want them sort of absorbing all that really nice turmeric. Acting like a sponge. Season those potatoes and it really helps to bring out the spice beautifully. They're ready. Turn off the gas and let them sit there and absorb all those flavours. Back to the pancake batter. Add plain flour to your cooled garlic, chilli, ginger, and cumin seeds. A touch of salt and pepper. Nothing worse than the bland pancake. One whole egg, milk. Hold the jug with one hand and whisk with the other. The secret is to get that really nice, smooth paste, but whisking that egg first. That brings it together, and then your milk in. Don't put all the milk in, because then you're going to get a lumpy pancake mix. And if you put less milk in, it really helps it not going lumpy. Look at that. Milk in. And the secret for me is to have a nice thin mix. Now, just a little teaspoon of oil. That helps to bring a nice crispy edge to the mixture. Now, just taste. Mm. That's the texture. Pan on. The larger the pan, the better. It helps to create the nice, thin, even surface. I want that mix going all the way around the pan. Before you put the mixture into the pan, make sure you give your pancake mix a really nice stir. Pan, it's nice and hot. Turn down the gas. A touch of olive oil in. Get that nice. Whisk with one hand. Pan to the mix. In. One and a half ladles. And then roll it around. So it's really nice and thin. I want to see the ginger, the garlic. That's what I'm looking for. In there. Now back onto the heat. It only starts to remove from the bottom of the pan and lifts itself up once it's cooked. These little bubbles confirm that it's just starting to lift off the pan. A little shake, that releases it. And then just shake it to the end. And toss. If you haven't got the confidence of tossing, then use a spatula and turn it over. Now, that's exactly what I want, that nice sort of crisp, edge around the side. The colour on the pancake is so important. Now, roll it round and just let it slide out. 
beautifully. Mm. Now, for the exciting part, filling them. Take your potatoes, just sort of have a really nice imaginary line. And then just very carefully roll that nice and tightly. Tuck it underneath there, pull it back and roll. Beautiful. The delicious pancakes are ready to eat, but with a simple dipping sauce, they'll be a real treat. Just mix chopped coriander with natural yogurt. That's a really nice cooling agent. Sit that on the side. And that, for me, is a, a great brunch. Delicious, spicy pancakes. Amazing.